Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz. In today's video, we are at Dollar General. I can't wait to go in and see what new finds they have, and of course, find a few items to DIY. What's your story? What's your sign? So I like to start down the home aisles, then we'll go over to the seasonal, but I always find some really cool things here, so let me show you some of my favorites. So this little file folder system is really nice. It's made out of like a particle board wood, but this would be cute sitting out on your desk, $10. Oh my goodness, look at this organizer for $14. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, and I love this blue one. These are so pretty, you guys. I have a problem. I buy too many organizers. I need to just put it back. <laughs> it comes in a smaller version as well. I want these so bad. We're gonna figure out DIYs for these so I can get them both. So I'm starting with the larger basket and my idea here was to create a dog bed. So I started by measuring in on each side about four inches. Then I came in with a hacksaw and I just sawed off that wood piece. Then I came in and cut the macrame. I tried to cut it right where the knots were so that it would still hold in place. Then on the edges, I burned the edges so it wouldn't have that frayed look. And a lot of times when you burn the edges, it keeps them from fraying. With the bottom pieces, I undid some of the knots and then I hot glued the pieces down. For the exposed wood edges, I just started in the middle with a little bit of hot glue and some of the macrame that I cut off and I just started to create a circle and wrapped it around until it met up with the other macrame. I repeated these steps on the other side. I was so excited to find this dog bed for only $5 at Five Below and it fit perfectly. Moose, what are you doing to your bed? <laughs> Do you like it? You want your bed upside down? I think he thinks it's a toy. You got it out. Look at you, you got your bed out. Good job. Thanks to Sunday for sponsoring today's video. Sunday is a subscription service to give you a greener, healthier lawn. Their products have great ingredients like seaweed, iron, and molasses, which are great for your lawn. So what makes Sunday so different? Why should you try it out? They use soil, climate, and satellite data to build a custom plan for your lawn. Now, if you don't know anything about taking care of your lawn, kind of like me, I'm definitely a novice. Sunday makes it really easy. It only takes five steps. So step one, you're gonna type in your address on their website. From there, you're gonna get step two, which is a customized plan for your lawn with all of the nutrients and ingredients you need to grow a healthy lawn. Step three, I don't even have to think about, everything is gonna be shipped directly to my doorstep. It's gonna have all of the nutrients I need to add to my lawn, and then I'm gonna get two other shipments that come and they're already scheduled, I don't even have to think about it. Step four, you're gonna attach the ready-to-use nutrient packets to your hose and just spray them on your lawn. It takes about 15 minutes. Step five, you're gonna receive your custom nutrient packages throughout the year to keep your lawn looking fresh and healthy. So I'm so excited this year because I feel like this Sunday subscription is going to take the guesswork out of what products we need to use to keep our lawn healthy and growing this year. Head to GetSunday.com slash DIY now and get 20% off with code LizDIY20. And of course, I'll link to everything for you down in the description box. Now with the second smaller basket, I decided to make a planter. I added some twine to all four edges. With the twine, I just tied it into three strong knots. 
I cut off the extra piece of twine. Then I used my hexagon beads. I'll link those down below for you guys. And I just put three hexagon beads on each of the sides. Once I got all my beads on, I pulled all of the strings up and then I just tied them in place at the top, it, just in a regular knot. I cut off the excess string. From there, I found some of my hanging plants. These are from Ikea, but I've seen them at Five Below and a bunch of different stores now. So I used three of the hanging plants, but you could use anything that you like for this. And here's how it turned out and how it looks hung up. I always get great deals on large candlesticks and vases here. Like these, for example, are $8 and $12. I have these ones in my house already. So if you're needing something like vases, candlesticks, Dollar General is a great option for those. Summer kitchen items, you guys. Lemons seem to be really popular. These trivets, $3. You can get these cute little lemonade dispensers and then check out these jars with the bamboo lids on them. The dishes here are so pretty. There's like these honeycomb bowls. This big mixing bowl is only $5. I also really like the cherries and just the variety of colors. I think there's some great options at really good prices. And then even up here with the water bottles, look at how adorable some of these are. Like this little lemon cup. And then we were noticing this bee water bottle is so pretty. Okay, so I found this jar, it's $3.50. I need a little jar for my coffee station to put some gold spoons in that I ordered and I think this is gonna be perfect. Love these little vases, $3. Look at these shelves. Okay, these are cute. $10 for this shelf. I like this one. This is another great option as well. These would be great for your bathroom or in your kitchen. I wanted to make this a hanging system that you could use for necklaces or jewelry in your closet. I had these leftover hooks. I believe they were from a piece that I got at Ikea and I never used them and I thought they would be perfect for this. So I started by drilling holes into each of the scallops. I drew a line across just to make sure I kept all of my holes at the same level. Then I realized I needed to pull off that front piece in order so I could screw in the knobs. I started by using my drill to put the knobs in the back and then I just screwed the knobs into place. While I had this front piece off, I came in and painted with two coats of Waverly ink on the front and back. I did about one and a half coats. After the first coat was dry, I came back in and added a little bit of paint to anywhere that I missed paint. Since I kept the same existing nails, I was able to just tap this back into place. I ended up using my hammer a little bit as well. Here's how the shelf looks styled. It 
If you love seeing home decor ideas on a budget, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And if you like this Dollar General video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna grab this bamboo drawer organizer at $8. It's a great price. now we're over in the bathroom section here and you guys it's just two aisles but they have some great stuff I think this vanity mirror it's really inexpensive it's $12 but I love the look of it I think this would be pretty sitting out on your vanity There's a ton of baskets over here. This is actually comes in a set of, well, there's like three different sizes. The smaller one's $10. I love using these in bathrooms. They make really pretty decorative trash cans. These trays, you guys, these make great coffee table trays. They add a little bit texture to your coffee table and they're great for putting like coasters or throwing remotes on as well. Now you could use a basket like this. I would grab the larger one and put shoes in it by your front door or back door or wherever you guys leave the house. They also have it in gray as well. Look at all the solar lights. With Dollar Tree raising their prices to $1.25, the Dollar General solar lights are actually cheaper now. So this may be where you wanna get your solar lights, especially if you have to purchase quite a few. I found this one, you guys. It's a hanging solar light for $5. I have a DIY in mind for this one, but Dollar General has a ton of different options. They have these, which would be nice in your yard. They also have this lantern style. Those are $12. And then these go on your fence posts. So a lot of different options here if you're looking for some solar lights and they're probably gonna be a cheaper price point than say like Walmart or Amazon. So for this hanging solar light, I'm gonna start by adding some nautical rope to the very bottom of this solar light. So I just used hot glue around the edges and placed the nautical rope in place. I decided to loop the nautical rope through so one time it would be in the front and the other time it would be in the back on the metal piece. Well, as I was doing this, I realized that it didn't give me the look I was going for, so I decided to take all that out. <clears throat> So I pulled the rope out except for that bottom layer I had already created and I decided to just loop it around the outside. I wasn't sure exactly how far I was going to go up. I just kind of kept going until I was happy with the look of it. Once I was happy with it, I just cut off the excess and hot glued that in place. And here's a look at how this solar light turned out and looks outside on my tree. If you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure you go down and comment the word of the day, which is solar light. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, how much are these? Guys, look at these topiaries, $32, and they have LED lights in them. That's a great price. You could put these in a substantial pot. They would look great on your front door if you grab two of them, and you could do it for under $100 if you got the pots and everything. So in my last Dollar General video, I picked these up for $14. I didn't know what I was gonna do with them at the time, but I have found several uses around my house.
It's a round. <laughs> it's a round beach towel. Have you guys ever seen that? They're kind of cute. I think it'd be great to like lay down for like babies to play on. There are so many new lamps out, you guys, and the prices are really good. So we were noticing these little accent lamps. These are super popular right now. This one's $14. You also have like smaller traditional style lamps. The one that I was really drawn to was this one right here. It's got an LED light in it. It's $12. I'm gonna grab this. So this lamp takes batteries, so I just added in three AA batteries, and I love that this battery power lamp can sit out on my coffee table. I just love the way it looks. I hope you guys had fun shopping with me today, and have fun going to Dollar General. I'll talk to you in our next one.